Due to family circumstances, it's time to head home from Alaska. It's our blessed adventure. It's our blessed adventure. At this point in our trip, we had about a month left to go in Alaska, but unfortunately we got a phone call from our family that um, my sister's husband, who was previously diagnosed with cancer, had become very ill and wasn't gonna, didn't look well. Right. So we had prayer and really felt God telling us we needed to head home. So we made the turn here and started our trek home. We had a long road ahead of us to Ohio from Alaska. Um, Karen and Glenn decided to come with us. Um, and it took us two and a half weeks, as you will see in the next few videos of the things that kind of came along our way as we went home. Um, but we were able to talk to Charles on the phone and we did not make it before he passed, and but we did make it the day before the funeral. Um, Charles will be dearly, dearly missed in our family. He um, was a wonderful, wonderful brother-in-law. Yeah, very wonderful brother-in-law. And we will truly miss him. We're thankful he's out of pain and he's with God right now. And someday we will see him again. So, and Alaska, we can go back. We're going to plan to go back at some point and finish out our trip and check out the rest. Steve and Christina did go on. Their daughter was still with them. So, they went on to finish out the trip. So, we'll fill you in and show you what happened as we headed on home. And, you know, I got to thinking, too. Sometimes this is what full-time RVing, some of the downsides that you can run into full-timing or RVing, period. Um, hard decisions sometimes like that to make or not a hard decision to head home at all. That was my first instinct. But you realizing how far you are and you wish you could just jump on a plane at that point and get home. But... Um, that would not have been a good idea there in Alaska. They have snow flying uh, sometimes at the beginning of September. Well, shortly after we got home. Yes, that's very true. Very shortly after we got home, they started getting snow all over Alaska. And then we didn't know what all we'd be dealing with. I wanted to be there for my sister as much as I could and as long as I could. So that comes with it sometimes. So, you just got to do what you got to do. God will lead us. Yeah. We stopped here at Destruction Bay because we heard a rattle. We didn't, not sure what it is. But we want to show you how dirty the vehicles have got and how beautiful it is right around us. Beautiful. So, you can see right over there, Karen and Glenn's rig. The truck's no longer black. It's brown. Right. You see pumpkin back there. It's no longer orange. It's mustard. It's mustard. It's <laughs> but look at this scenery. I'm going to turn the camera around and show you the view. So here we are at Destruction Bay, like I said. This is the view. There's brownie. Instead of blackie, brownie. There's mustard instead of pumpkin. And look at these mountains. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And we're heading down that part of the road over there where you see that truck coming from. Just wanted to show you that view. It's pretty spectacular. Sometimes in your travels, you run into little accidents and run into some little problems. And as you can see here, we ran into a little one ourselves. 
We always says when life deals you uh, lemons, you make lemonade. And then we ran across this sign. It says when life gives you lemons, make ice cream. Lemony coconut cream base with poppy seed and blueberries. So we'll take that too. So during this incident, we were about to turn out onto the main road. And fortunately enough for us, God blessed us and allow us to make a wrong turn, which in turn put us on a side street out the way of all the main traffic. When our bracket broke, our bikes fell off, the Jeep ran over the bikes and broke the tow bar. And the only way to stop the Jeep was to use the back end of the RV. But it all works out. And in the end, God always gives you a rainbow. Coming down the road, and here's the buffalo, and uh, quite a few of them just decided they're going to cross the road. These things are pretty big. You can see them all over there laying down. You can see a baby playing in the dirt over there. Well, he just stopped. They've been ruffling up the trees and the, all kinds of stuff while we've been sitting here when we stopped. But you see they're all along the road. Some more up there getting ready to cross the road. Tatanka. <laughs> the buffalo. Well, now the ones we're calling this Depending how things go, we might get out to South Dakota and we get to see them when rounding up some of these big boys like this at the Buffalo Roundup. After this motorhome comes by, we'll he, be ready. You got this big okay, guy out my here. Wife says she's not ready to He's just standing out in the up. road. He's slowly just working his way over. So. I'm not ready either yet. Okay. <laughs> I guess we're not going nowhere then. <laughs> so he's moved out the road. Here at the truck comes out. I'm feeling I'll move out your way. There is some big ones. You can see this one over here. Let's see if I can get it. Rustling up the tree over there. See, this one's got a collar on. Rustling up the tree over there. We had a pretty good travel day and we're nursing our front end it won't stay aired up but we were coming by this beautiful spot here at i think it's called mucho lake so we pulled over and we decided we're gonna have a little lunch before we get back on the road it's beautiful we figured you might as well enjoy this beautiful scenery and have a little lunch Uh, you see the sign that says you're you're entering. Hold on, I'll get you in there in a second. <laughs> you're entering the uh, Alaska, the world famous Alaskan Highway here at Mile Zero. Only for us, we're leaving the yes. world famous Alaskan Highway. But we've already awesome. we've already been there and we're heading out, but we didn't want to miss getting down here and catching the sign at Mile Zero. We had a great time. And we'll be back. Yes. Yes. For sure. <laughs> sure. We stopped for the night here in Jasper National Park. And we took the driving around. And this is what we got a chance to see. 
this big old behemoth elk right on the side of the road. When we pulled into the park, there were mountain goats. But by the time we got stopped and got the cars off, the mountain goats were gone, so. This guy is huge. Ooh. Awesome. Look at that. Beautiful specimen. We got to see those in Estes Park and got to see one bugle and uh, heard some females. That's pretty cool. You can see that in a prior video if you look back. Just to show you that we are right there. Whoop. We are right there. Everybody's hanging out in the cars, taking photos. You see the people over there stopping. And he's right there. Pretty cool. Back in there munching. You can see he's a big fella. You, I don't know if you can tell, but his rack, his antlers are still in felt. So, so awesome view. He. Of the big fella. Oh my goodness. Wouldn't you love that? What do you think, honey? It's awesome. Karen, come out. He finished uh, eating and he just came out and laid down right on the ground in front of us. Look how majestic he is. Oh, and he knows it too. Beautiful. I'll just give y'all a show. Look here. at that. My head's getting a little tired. I'll zoom in as close as I can. Like, yep, that's as close as I can get. Look how beautiful he is. God's, God's creations are What a good. great opportunity. See yes. one this close. Sometimes in life, tragedies come our way. Small things like an accident with our vehicles and big things like a death to a family member or loved one. Those are things that just come our way in everyday life. But we have to remember to keep a smile on our face and remember God works everything for our good. So we just have to take what he gives us, trust him, and live on our life the best we can to please him. Because in the end, there's always plenty of blessings. So we'd like to thank you all for being such faithful followers and following along and watching our videos. And we'd like to say thank you from Knowles Blessed Adventures.